And the Nigerian, Nigerian in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, has warned Nigerian parents to shun sending their children to northern Cyprus for schooling. This was as the chairperson of NIDCOM, Abike Dabirerewa, received a petition from the Chief Justice of the Kaduna State High Court and mother of Khalil Ibrahim. 25-year-old Ibrahim Khalil Bello had spent three years studying civil engineering at Gerdney American University in Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus when his parents got the news of his death. At this meeting with the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, his mother, Justice Amina Bello, expresses shock over the reality that her son had left Nigeria in search of education, but didn't make it back alive. The registrar of the school started telling me that uh, uh, my son fell from a seven-story building. But I don't even believe my son committed any suicide. NIDCOM chairman Abike Dabiri Erewa sympathized with the family of the deceased while urging Nigerian students to boycott schools in northern Cyprus. No Nigerian parent, I'm appealing to you, should send your children to northern Cyprus, to any university in northern Cyprus. There's a collaboration which we still don't understand that makes them kill blacks, particularly our Nigerian students who are usually the most. So we work with you, madam, to ensure that we demand justice not only for Ibrahim, but for all those students that have been killed. And tell every parent, please, forget about going to school in Northern Cyprus. Dabiri Erewa says the alleged killing of Ibrahim is the tipping point for justice, as at least 100 Nigerian students have been mysteriously killed in Northern Cyprus since 2016.